morning children welcome back to maths track 1 session till yesterday we finished 1.6 that is completely based on exponents and powers okay that is already we discussed in 8th standard exponents and powers and in 9th standard 1.6 exercise that is there is separate chapter but here it is a sub chapter it so means sub sub topic we'll call it as a sub topic okay children now all have to write regularly the loss of exponents that means yesterday what i gave you like x power m into x power n equals to x power m plus n so on like that so daily if you write at least one time you will never forget so before starting of maths revision or maths practice or maths homework whatever it may be take a rough book and start writing first the formulas not only this any type of a formulas which is applicable for that sum so that's why if you write start writing like that definitely you will remember forever okay in today's topic we are going to learn about representation of number uh, representation of real numbers on a number line you may get doubt now what is real numbers real numbers means already we discussed you know that what are real numbers natural numbers whole numbers integers rational numbers and irrational numbers all these comes under real numbers okay natural numbers whole numbers integers rational numbers irrational numbers all this comes under a real numbers now the question is representation of real numbers on the number line okay on the number line sorry on the number line okay now how the question will be given means see here i give i gave you one example here visualize the representation of 5.76 on the number line that means how to represent this 5.76 on the number line okay children all of you take out your scale okay it is very easy children all of you take out your scale and draw a 10 cm line okay draw a 10 cm line and mark at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and so on means 10 units 10 cm okay why 10 cm means because i'll tell you now so once you have drawn the first line like this suppose actually how to draw and everything i'll tell you if the suppose if you draw first line like this the second line is required for the sum below this only exactly you have to draw the same the same means both should be in the same okay so don't uh, one line here and one other line here one line here and other line here not like that one after the other okay now here see 5.767 okay this one you have to show 5.76 on the number line how we have to show see 5.76 is nothing but it is more than 5 and less than 6 okay 5.767 is more than 5 and less than 6 that means what do you understand it lies between 5 and 6 it lies between 5 and 6 so write here 5 and the end you write 6 that means you have to write 5.76 lies between 5 and 6 write like this this starting and ending now here okay already you marked each one centimeters no right here 5.1 how much 5.1 5.2 next 5.3 next 5.4 and 6 okay 5.9 next number is 6 now 5.767 <coughs> where is 5.7 now you have to search now 5 now 5.767 means it lies between 5 and 6 so 
you wrote 5 and 6 and you wrote all the numbers in between 5 and 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, so on up to 5.9. Now, take these two now. <clears throat> 5.7. 5.7 here. Where is 5.7? Here it is. 5.76. Next number is 5.76. Okay? 5.7 is here. The next number is 5.76. That means that 5.76 lies between 5.7 and 5.8. Is it clear? This 5.76. Try to understand very easy children. 5.76. Where is 5.7 here? 76 means it lies between 5.7 and 5.8. Right? So, mark it here 5.7. And this is 5.8. That means this number 5.76 will come. Means we are doing step by step. Not at a time 5.76 will come on the same line. We will get step by step. So 5.76. It lies between 5.7 and 5.8. Okay. So after pointing out like this 5.7 5.8. Draw a line here from here to here. That means 5.7 should be written here. And 5.8 here. Why? Why you took 5.7 5.8 means here 5.76. So that means 5.76 lies between 5.7 and 5.8. So now these two ends 5.7 and 5.8. So just to, for identification you can just to join like this. Okay? Just draw a straight line children. And join these two also. Okay, like this. Next, 5.67 and 5.6, uh, 5.8 you wrote. Again, now 5.7. Next number, 5.71. <clears throat> okay, 5.71. Next, 5.72. Next, 5.73 Next, 5 5.75 5.75 5.76 5.77 5.78 5.79 And 5.8 now you got up to 5.6. Now you got up to 5.6 here. The next number is 5.67. So now I, where 5.67 lies? It lies between 5.6 and 5.77. It lies between 5.76 and 5.77. So mark these two like this. Okay? And this end you write 5.76 and that end you write 5.77. Okay, again, join these two. So, join like this, children. Next. 5.76, no? 5.761. Next number. Next number 5.762. Next 5.763. Next 5.764. Next 5.765. 5.766. 5 5.767. 5.768. 5.769 Now where is the answer now 5.767 here it is So this one we just round up like this like a magnifying glass Okay So how to represent uh, 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 any number on a number line means like this that means we will call it as real numbers So how to visualize the real numbers on a number line means this is the way. Is it clear children now? 
Once again, I am telling you. First of all, you have to see that which number it is five, and it is five point seven six seven. That means it is more than five and less than six. So that's why right here five and right here six. Now next number five point seven. So first write up to five point seven means. 5.1 point one, five point two, five point three, five point four, five, five point six, five point seven, five point eight, five point nine, six. Now where is five point seven here? Next number is what? Five point seven six. That means five point seven six will come after five point seven. That means five point six seven six will lies between five point seven and five point eight. Five point seven six will lies between five point seven and five point eight. So mark these two points and draw here like this. And write this one as a starting one, and this one as ending. Again, five point seven, seven one, seven two, seven three, seven four, seven five, seven six, seven seven, seven eight, seven nine, five point eight. Now, five point seven six seven. Where five point seven six seven will come above five point seven six? That means it lies between these two. So, draw a line like this, and five point seven seven here, and five point seven six. So next is seven six no seven six one seven six two seven six three seven six four seven six five seven six six seven six seven seven six eight seven six nine five point seven seven. Okay, so you got five point seven six seven here. So like that you have to magnify. Okay, now by this we can finish one exercise, children. That is nothing but. 18th page number exercise 1.4 okay sometimes they may ask you question like this 5.467 bar 5.5.467 bar they give now they'll ask you to represent 5.467 bar on the number line like this how will you represent listen they will not give you straight away 5.467 bar on the number line they will give you one more word that is up to three decimals or up to four decimals or up to five decimals will give that means when I, they give already three decimals are given that means they never ask three decimals they will ask more than three so maybe five uh, they will ask question visualize the representation of 5.467 bar on the number line up to five decimals up to five decimals then how to write this one means 5.46767 why because 67 bar means we have to this is recurring so we have to write the same numbers again so 1 2 3 4 5 so five decimals no no need to write again 6767 up to five decimals no so 5.46767 five decimals again same 5.4 it lies between 5 and 6 same model 5.4 so 5.1 5.2 5.3 5.4 5.5 5.6 5 so on like that till this 5.76 uh, 5.46767 comes you have to do that means not only these three lines will come more lines will come is it clear now all of you take out your homework book children that means uh, diary date 16 and explain the uh, wrong date just uh, and i send message also math homework chapter 1 exercise 1.4 only two sums are there children only two sums exercise 1.4 if you want page number it is 18 page number 18 So by this we finish even exercise one point four. One point two we'll do later because we have to do some spiral binding all this. Actually we finished uh, uh, after lockdown when the school reopens we did it already we finished it. But once again I'll, I'll explain. Don't worry that I'll not tell again. I'll tell definitely I'll teach you. Don't worry. So after this we have very interesting topic and that topic is nothing but like. Uh, completely basing on how to multiply irrational numbers rational numbers like that and completely basing on algebraic expressions formulas that is a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a plus b into a minus b all 
so without using that identity we cannot solve the any problems like that and one more there square roots so compulsory you have to know the square roots so without square roots we cannot even move as inch okay so compulsory you have to know the square roots and for that we have a separate square root tables you all know 0 0 are 1 1 are 2 2 are 3 3 are like that okay so in the next class we are going to start that exercise and we are going to finish in the next week mostly okay so then we'll complete one chapter but i want to test your knowledge so that's why monday get prepared for the test okay i am telling you monday get prepared for the test on the topics which we covered on the topics which we covered up to today okay is it clear now and you may get doubt now sir i don't have test notes like that they have given one test notes extra for you okay otherwise in the maths books they have given six or seven like that no five or six in that one book otherwise you see any hundred pages book is there you have uh, keep for that as a max test notes otherwise all subjects you want to write in one test notes also no problem okay is it clear children so have a nice day so still anything information you want regarding the examination i mean test class test i will tell you on that day monday okay is it clear now have a nice day children